Good afternoon, Michaelonians, and anyone else who happens to be looking on. I'm Father Dan Brady, pastor here at St. Michael's, and uh, just want to wish you a happy Lent uh, that's coming up. It begins on Ash Wednesday, the 14th of February, which I know is also, <clears throat> never mind, it's that day you're supposed to be kind to your spouse and such, or, or your loved one, in any case, though. Uh, but we'll be celebrating the beginning of Lent. And there's a lot that we have in terms of offerings during this Lenten season. I encourage you to uh, take part as much as you can. Our theme is presence in the people of God. You know, we are called to be the presence of Christ to the people around us. We need to be aware of that presence. That presence is very much in each of us, and we need to share that with others. And so we do a lot of things to help us remember to do that and to to do special things for this season. By the way, I'm sitting today in front of this little hanging here. That is, uh, was bought from Ethiopia and from Addis Ababa in Ethiopia 55 years ago by me in the market there. And it's the reason I really wanted to have it in back of me is that this is being recorded on the Wednesday of the fifth week in ordinary time when the Old Testament reading is about the uh, Queen of Sheba and Solomon. And that's what this is all about. It's about how the woman became queen and then how she went down to visit Solomon and heard the wisdom, heard about his wisdom, and then went down herself. And while she was there, they, uh, they created a new life. Uh, she became pregnant from that visit. This would, may sound strange to us, but wouldn't have been so unusual. A king and a queen who decided they wanted to bring their countries closer together. And, and so she bore a son who will become a very well-known figure in Ethiopia, Menelik I. And that's, all of this goes on is telling the story and uh, it, 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 uh, something I've put up pretty much everywhere I've lived and that's very colorful. So I wanted to share that today, but I wanna share one more thing with you and it's about Lent in particular. And that is this, okay? This is a pretzel. Father Dan, why are you talking about a pretzel? Well, because the pretzel is a Lenten food. It came into being for Lent. What it is, is the shape of it is three rings, and you know, we're all used to the shape of a pretzel, but if you realize it, if you take your arms and go like this, you create that same shape that the pretzel has, okay? And when we have arms crossed, well, this is a smaller version of the arms crossed, and that was a stance for prayer. And this, this is called in Latin, brachily, means little arms, okay, crossed in prayer. And so brachily became brezel in German, okay, or pretzel, as we say. And it's very plain, it's just flour and water, basically, and this one has some salt on it. Uh, but it's a very special Lenten food, and so we're, you're, you're going to be seeing it around throughout the season of Lent. We're going to be offering those to you at the end of the Masses on Sunday. Uh, invite you to take some pretzel with you. We'll have one without salt, one that's gluten-free, and then regular little pretzels, smaller versions than this one. And I, and I urge you to stop by there and think about Lent, because it also has these three openings. Those are the three disciplines of Lent, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. There, there are many, there's even more to the story, but this is the, this is a, a Lenten food. And so I encourage you to take one and think about Lent, okay? And uh, so I hope you'll be able to join us. Check our site or your, your flock notes, and I hope you do get flock notes, uh, because that's, that's really the way we like to communicate. You can read about all sorts of things and the very person who's film, filming this, vo videoing this, is the one who makes up those, those beautiful things that at least get, catch your eye and they make you want to read further. So check them out, okay? And see what's going on. There are lots of things with books and, and programs and, and different things starting up. So I hope you can take advantage of it and make this slant a very, very special one to you. So cross your arms in prayer, Rachel Lee, and enjoy the Lenten season. God bless you.